Greetings, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to look at having a bit of an audit of all those people who are suppliers, advisors, guides, vendors to the business and see how many need to keep going, how many need to continue into 2021. My shoe, arigozaimasu, and welcome back to the seventh year of the Leadership Fan Series. I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president of Dale, Kanye Train Japan, the best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. And my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be ready in early 2021. We are broadcasting around the world from Minatoku in the center of Tokyo, the leadership capital of Japan. Now, this podcast brings... Insights, examples, and experiences about leading in Japan. Trust me, it is different here. Don't forget, subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We're not being sponsored by Libsyn, sadly, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Libsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here's the daily lineup on iTunes. Monday is the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesday, the Presentations Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshia Show. Wednesdays, we have the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. Every second Thursday, we have the Business Pro Podcast Talk Show. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, we have Japan's top business interviews. Now, before we get going, today's handy Japanese phrase is Jisabokeda. Jisabokeda, which is what you say when you are suffering from jet lag and your brain is not functioning well. Jisabokeda, 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 Jisabokeda. Man, I'm jet lag, I can't think. Jisabokeda, Jisabokeda, Jisabokeda. This is episode number. 393. Today we're talking about house clean the team every year. Japan has a wonderful year end tradition where the entire house is given a massive cleanup. Dust is dispatched, junk is devolved, and everything is made shipshape. We need to do the same with our business, and I don't mean cleaning up your desk. We have two types of people working for us. There are those who receive a salary of some dimension, be they full-time or part-time. And then there are those who get paid for their services. Some of these services are delivered regularly throughout the year. Others are intermittent on a needs basis. Regardless, we need to take a good look at these every year to make sure they are still fit for purpose. As a training company, we have some regular suppliers. Our landlord charges us rent for the space we use, and that lease pops up every two years. Regardless of the economy, the office space vacancy rate, the consumer price index, or any other intergalactic factors, the number always goes up at renewal time. It is no good finding ourselves at renewal time and thinking, Maybe I should have investigated if there were more appropriately priced alternatives. Too late by that time, because it takes quite a while to find the size of space you need in the location and configuration you require at a number that makes sense. Better to engage a real estate broker early to start telling you what the alternatives are so that when the time comes, you can have some choices available. That data is also a potential bargaining chip in the arm wrestle for the next two years of tenant penal servitude. Another key player is your accountant. If you outsource your accounting to a firm, they will receive the data from your people and get it into a P&L and balance sheet format that you can come to terms with. It also enables someone externally to see what are the patterns of spending and spot any anomalies. Japanese staff are very honest. However, like staff in other countries, 
they can find themselves in the newspaper for embezzling vast sums from their employers, sustained over breathtaking amounts of time. If you need an English-speaking accountant, we are now fishing in a very small pond. This tends to mean that we lock someone in to do the books and we just keep them forever. We all seek an equilibrium comfort point. We get the service, we're happy with it, and we are generally too busy to investigate if we can better it. Once a year, list up some accounting service delivery alternatives and have a conversation about what they offer. Existing suppliers can become robotic in their delivery of their services, and they have pruned their services down to the minimum necessary to maximize their return. It might be a good time to see if you can maximize your return instead. Find out more when we come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs. We do them in the super safe classrooms. We do them live online. We do them in Japanese. We do them in English. Today's show is sponsored by some of our programs. On the 18th of January, we'll have the secrets of how to make human relationships in public speaking. On the 22nd of January, we'll do in our professional leadership series, how to lead, not just manage. Also on the 22nd of January, we'll do managing stress. Now, find out information about these programs and more programs at our website, enjapan.dalecarnegie.com. You can email me also, greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. If you like learning by watching videos, we've got over a thousand for you there at Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We are releasing three TV shows every week on YouTube, The Cutting Edge. Japan Business Show, that's a premier business show in Japan, comes every Monday. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Master Show. Sundays, Japan's top business interviews. This is where I interview the corporate captains of industry. I also do leaders of SMEs on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we have the Business Pro Telebi Show. You get my books, Japan Sales Mastery, that's the Bible for selling in Japan. Japan Business Mastery, you get both of those on Amazon and my new book. Japan Presentations Mastery Ready in early 2021 will also be on Amazon. Welcome back. In our case, we need things designed and printed because we distribute flyers to clients and training manuals to class participants. I am using the same printing company now which I have used for over 10 years. I know there are other companies who are slightly cheaper, but I need high quality service delivered at speed. Being able to get things designed very quickly is something I value highly and will pay more for that service. If that service was diminished, then there would be a reason to change. The point here though is, I need to keep track of the size of the disparity between what I pay and what they deliver. I just can't go to sleep at the wheel and keep using the same folk because I'm too busy to know the relative price, quality and scope of the service I'm receiving. Labor lawyers do well here in Japan. The regulations are changing. There is government pressure to not have unpaid overtime and numerous arcane labor rules abound. A labor lawyer is a pretty good businessman and signed my firm up on a monthly retainer. I took my COO's advice on this retainer, though I had my doubts. I reviewed that service need and that retainer, and guess what? After I cut it, there has been no difference in what we needed as a service. Instead, we are saving that money every month now. Maybe at one point, there was a point. My point, though, is don't let these things just drift along without making a conscious decision to decide if the service is really what you still need or not. End of the year cleanup time is a good time to survey new potential providers and clean up unneeded service expenses, too.
Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series. If you found the program useful, then tell your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. You can contact me at greg.story at dalekani.com. Website is at enjapan.dalekani.com. Until the next episode, take what you thought valuable, put into action, because idea application is what makes winners winners. So be one of them. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.